Obviously, numerous factors can lead people to behave unethically. However, recent work shows that people oftentimes behave unethically for two broad sets of reasons. First, we oftentimes behave unethically because of situational or social factors in our environment, such as competitive pressures or witnessing others around us, such as colleagues or coworkers, behave unethically. A second reason why people oftentimes behave unethically is for cognitive reasons such as because of how they frame particular ethical behaviors, which research shows can affect how ethical or unethical they evaluate those behaviors to be. My own work uh, explores an explanation which bridges these two sets of factors. Uh, in particular, I find that we oftentimes behave unethically because of a failure to anticipate and resist ethical temptations that we encounter in the workplace and beyond. This failure to anticipate and resist ethical temptations in turn stems from two things. First, a failure to identify how a given ethical temptation or particular ethical temptations conflict with more important goals we have for ourselves, such as to cultivate a moral self-image, uh, to cultivate a sense of integrity, to uh, cultivate a moral reputation. Secondly, um, it stems from the fact that ethical temptations in the workplace oftentimes blindside us, interfering with our ability or impeding our ability to resist them. So if we think about ethical temptations as things that pull us uh, towards them, then uh, the more time we have to prepare ourselves for those, the more likely we are going to be able to resist them.